What is going on, guys? It's Dan Man, aka Daniel's son, and we are talking Mayans season three, episode six. <laughs> so I'm not gonna take too much of your time because I felt like this episode was a pause episode. When I mean by pause, it was definitely an episode where you kind of just see where the characters are at. You see, there's a lot more interaction in this episode, a lot more dialogue, a lot more of um, coming to grips of the past, but yeah, looking to the future. So this episode really showcased a lot of great interactions, right? You had interactions with Easy and Angel, interactions with Easy and Felipe, inter a big interaction, big road trip between Easy and Gabby. Uh, you even had an Easy and Emily interaction in this episode. So I thought the interactions were fantastic. I thought some of them had great dialogue, some great lines. Uh, there's a lot of, there were some interactions that had great tension. So tension in this episode was pretty high. There was a couple moments here and there, but I will say the pacing and the editing kind of got in a way where it was a slow burn is really cruised along. Uh, but it cruised along a little bit too much where I in the middle, I kind of felt a little bored. There was a little bit of dialogue and a little bit of scenery that took a little bit too long. And I felt like you could cut that. <laughs> you could cut that and you can move on to either another scene or you can give a little bit more screen time to still players that are not getting enough screen time. This is my only gripe about the season so far or just overall Mayans MC is they're not utilizing a lot of the things that they could cut to people that need it the most, right? Uh, example, Creeper, we all know this, uh, even Hank. I think that the studio or Elgin James, I believe in my heart that maybe they don't see them as the strongest actors in the world. There's just too many storylines they're trying to just incorporate that they just don't have time to give these guys spotlight. Some of the scenes are really great. Uh, it really reminds me of an independent independent filmmaker f like filming a lot of these shots there's one particular shot with coco spinning around which i really like uh even the gypsy camp i really like just the overall feel the 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 color palette on that there's a lot of not in set locations it's more out locations they're using the outdoors um funny how like nobody's around though <laughs> that's just movie and tv magic basically things really get heated up though uh as we keep continue going on to the episode uh the last 10 minutes is what really cranks it up but it takes a while it's it's just definitely a slow 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 burn um but there's things that are being revealed in this episode that i really enjoyed and there's definitely things setting up but when i say set up and i always say set up it's finally here. So like these last couple of episodes, we are going to see the things that have been set up in the get in the get go start really cranking, start really going. And we're going to see a lot of maybe destruction, death, who knows. Uh, but I just feel like things are starting more pressures continuing, continuing, continuing until the balloon will pop. So that's what I really liked about this episode is that next, <laughs> the next episodes, they're going to be uh, absolutely monster episodes, I believe. While this episode was a nice breather before we get into chaos and madness, uh, I do appreciate the fact that, you know, Elgin James and them said, listen, let's kind of like get to know more, get to where these characters, their feelings are at right here, right now, before we start entering into just total madness. Overall, the episode was fine. Uh, if I had to rate it, I would give it a 7 out of 10. It did not wow me. Even though the last 10 minutes uh, really crank it up, I still had to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, there was a lot of thoughts in my mind of some of the things that I I will reveal more in spoilers, but I do feel like the the brotherhood aspect to it, the the rules of this universe that has been created, or, or just overall this expansion, is kind of questioned a little bit in this episode. So there's just a lot of things that it's it, it's kind of nitpicking a little bit. But I feel like some of these things should be addressed, <laughs> you know. Uh, so. It's, it's definitely a little bit uh, uh, of me kind of just like nitpicking a little bit. But honestly, this episode just really felt like just a breather episode to get ready for everything to come. Overall, it was a it was a good episode. It wasn't an absolute banger. It wasn't an absolute solid episode, but it was a 
good episode. Look forward to next week's episode, which I think is going to be way more of a, a faster pace kind of episode. And I think we're going to go full throttle, pun intended. So we'll see. I want to thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, check out all my videos on YouTube. I have tons of different content. It's not only Mayans MC, but I got Sons of Anarchy, uh, Walking Dead, Invincible is one of the newer ones, and I will be covering a lot more newer TV shows as well. But please check out my uh, videos and have fun with them too, because there's a lot of them. So subscribe to the channel. And make sure you tell all your peeps, all your folks that Dan the Man, yes, yes, yes is here for you so subscribe to this channel like the video so we could keep this baby going and really get some momentum and then also uh you can find me on instagram at dandaman reviews or twitch dman80528 so what are your guys thoughts no spoilers down on this video i do have a spoiler video out so you could put some spoilers in there but i just want you guys to grade this episode so out of zero out of ten what do you rank it what do you put on there what is your grade uh, rating on this episode. So, thank you guys for listening. I'm Dan Megadison. I'm out here, guys.